Pontoise is a, uh, it's a beautiful town in the Alps, in the mountains, and uh, I like coming here every year, uh, and I've been coming here for about 15, 16 years, and every time we come, we meet similar people that we work with together, and we feel uh, we are able to create great art in a different atmosphere than usual, because most of us are from big cities like New York. I would definitely say it's like a second home, because uh, you know it's been 10 years, and every year I'm here for like two weeks, and I feel really comfortable in the town. I love the town. I think it's beautiful. I love the mountains, and I love the food here, and uh, the venue is great, because it's really nice having everything centrally located in a nice, you know, uh, modern theater. Outreach, you show up and you get put into different combinations with other people that you don't necessarily uh, know very well, or, or sometimes you do know them very well, but anyways, combinations where you're not familiar with the music and maybe even a little bit out of your com comfort zone. And sometimes we put together um, uh, performances that could easily be viable for a, a whole tour in and of themselves but the performances are unique to outreach so that's that's really special there's not one right way to do things, so there are different uh, approaches, and it's 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 beautiful to let it happen, and and to think about it, and and, and to make it work for yourself. So, with uh, the outreach orchestra, we usually have seven to ten songs, and everybody is always a different composer, and I think th that's that's really the the special thing, the diverse stylistic approach. It's great to teach here. I don't have that many students, but when I do, it's always, I like to go and find out where they're at as far as how they're playing and, and try to give them information to inspire them. Because, you know, I could come with books and books of, well, you have to practice this and you have to practice that and that. And, uh, but to me, I, I like to inspire the student to make him want to practice and try to make him be the person that's almost his own teacher by learning how to ask questions like, how do you do that? I want to do this. How do you do that? Because for me, that's how I learned. I was, I, I questioned and I, I knew that I wanted to play a certain type of music, a creative style music. So I think the most important message is to, is to, is to stay open, you know, stay open to, to music and uh, that would be it, you know, I mean, when I was actually doing the workshop, I was just talking about, you know, how we as musicians listen, and you don't ever listen to music free it being associated with any kind of pulse or any kind of anything, whatever you want to relate it to, you know. Uh, but mainly it, for drummers, there's a pulse, you know. Even if it's seemingly something somebody's playing out of time, you know, you still want to hear it relative to something. Every year when I give out a theme for the festival, uh, there are different layers and levels to think about it. Frozen present means to be creative in the moment and this is a very special uh, process and we want to actually make everything happen now. It doesn't matter if we use material from old or already dead composers or our stuff, it has to be fresh. And if you're able to uh, experience this authenticity, uh, then it means elevated future because from, from this process it gives you energy and then you're able to develop from there.
Sein Publikum war in erster Linie die Nachwelt. Sein Leben, seine Feldzüge, seine Taten, seine Abstammung, seine Leistungen. Und was ich im Leben in meinem Gedachtnis nicht vollbringe, das wird nach meinem Tod weder durch dich oder anderen nicht erstatt. Music, we, we talk about colors, so for me all of that is connected. Theater, visual arts and, and, and music. And we just getting more and more complex about it that, that we do that. But if, for me, it, it, everything goes together. And I just want to make sure to create a few projects where really visual arts, uh, music and spoken word are of equal importance, which is not really happening normally.